All right, cleaning up the last section of this base. Mirrezi failed the wall breaker to get that queen in, so this wizard tower should be down by now. Loon's grouping up, pushing for the final wizard tower. Are they going to get it? Oh no, air bomb comes up, smacks two of the balloons. Final wizard tower. We've got two balloons that have a chance to get there. Are they going to get it? I don't know. Stay tuned. Find out. They're getting pretty dang low, though. What is going on guys? Power Bang here, bringing you a Clash of Clans video today. We had an awesome war this week against USA Adults. Mad props to you guys. They came in, uh, gave us a good fight, just wasn't enough to take us down. Uh, honestly, WHF wanted to get that win after a tough loss this last weekend. Gotta give massive congratulations to the Buy Forever clan. They took us down as the lower seed in the CWL playoffs. Uh, it was a very, very impressive performance from them. Uh, I don't know. There was a couple attacks that I think, you know, could have gone our way that didn't. Uh, but overall, I was very pleased with our performance. I felt like, you know, we really did kind of everything that we wanted to do, uh, with the exception of having a few, like, 99%, 97% uh, Town Hall 10 attacks not fall our way. Uh, aside from that obvious point, I felt like we did everything that we needed to do uh, to give ourselves a chance to win. Unfortunately, uh, the better clan that day won by forever. So let me move it on to the playoffs, guys. WHF seasons come to a close. Very proud of the guys at WHF that we finished off the season 9-3, and three, a vast improvement from season one so looking forward to seeing what season uh three brings if uh we end up getting there so 84 to 80 whf taking down usa adults i've got four different attacks i want to show you guys today all focusing on the town hall 10 level uh because we are going to have some adjustments based off some of the in-game adjustments coming soon uh to a clash of clans near you so first things first here Let's go ahead and turn down the in-game volume because I just realized the music's on. I know you guys always get on me over that. So that is down. Let's go ahead, check out some Town Hall 10 action, starting with Ricky Clasher here on number nine, the real metal. And guys, Hog Riders. These guys are getting a little bit of a buff. More HP coming to level six and seven hogs. In the next update, Ricky Clasher is going to show you guys pre-buff. This the, the buff has not gone in yet. The balance changes are not live. So so this is before uh, these guys get some love and we'll see exactly how strong they are uh, on this base with Max Inferno Towers, level 40 Queen, and very high level point defenses as well. So starts off with a goal in there tanking uh, the initial fire. Queen taking out those bomb towers early. Pretty key uh, in this uh, hog raid here is getting those things taken out because those explosions do matter and if the hogs can avoid those it can potentially save a heal spell uh, down the road. So King gets in with the Valkyries, hops over the wall, takes out the King, a whole big quadrant of the base as well as the enemy Queen. And now we've got the Queen going around the outside as well. Looks like the Hogs are intending to save her, keep her alive, and have her go around the outside of the base to keep everything alive. So... Here we go. Hogs going to the first inferno. They do hit a giant bomb, but they're pretty tanky now. Seeing how those giant bombs no longer do double damage. Problem being is the hound has popped, guys. Wizards have taken it out. And those pups are going to be locked on to the hogs the whole raid. So we get into the wizard tower farm here. No choice but to use a heal spell. He is going to drop in a balloon on the outside there to help take down that cannon in short order. And then into the last quadrant here. Wizard tower, the last splash that can really do any damage to him. Uh, as the one on the backside taken out by a few hogs here directly. Mortar also being taken down. Last threat here is the pups from the Lava Hound that exploded, uh, but it's just too much for the base to handle. So Ricky Clash are getting it done with the hogs. A whole ton of them left over. Queen's still alive, cleaning up, doing work. Uh, the last little thing in the base that uh, we need to worry about is that guy right there, that Builder Hut. But looking pretty good here. We'll fast forward this Ricky Clasher getting it done. Love to hear your guys' thoughts on Hog Riders. I mean, obviously, Hogs are not the norm, uh, but Ricky's displaying here that they definitely are viable on the right base. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Do you like the buff that's coming uh, to the Hog Rider hit points? Let me know. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. So next up, let's go ahead and check out number 10. Mirror Resi, you might recognize this one from the description. We'll watch how the opening part of that raid started. He's going to start doing some cleaning uh, with bowlers and archers here, getting this funnel created. And then you're going to see the Suicide Heroes coming in, trying to get in. He's going to wall break in two locations. Reason for that is he wants his queen to be able to get in and ultimately take out that Inferno along with uh, the CC. So let's watch here and see what happens. Or actually, I guess the king could probably uh, help push and take that out as well. So the first one goes down. Here comes the second group of wall breakers. And they did not target the junction. 
Clever wall breakers, clever. Uh, so the queen's gonna walk around, Kane's gonna be like, peace, I'm going around the outside of this base. She is uh, done, hits the giant bomb, and that wrecks her day. So uh, here we go, king and queen are both down. It's time for the loons. So he's gonna start off uh, by getting that hound and uh, balloon out of the way with the archer. And here comes some direct target action on the Inferno Tower. Haystfell is going to get those balloons through the Tesla, past the Wizard Tower, and straight to the Inferno. Uh, but that's as far as they're going to go. They hit a couple of red air bombs here, and then the Wizard Tower, uh, unforgiving, to say the least. So, here we go around the ring. We've got, uh, we've got the Queen in there firing away, but two skeleton spells are packed in the army composition. Once everything's kind of clear, they are there if needed, but look at all of the uh, the pups there. He drops the skellies anyways. Uh, gonna help try to take out that king, I guess, and get on to the cleanup, but skelly spells not even needed as the pups really did work in that uh, particular case. So here's what we saw in the opener. <coughs> Excuse me. Not feeling good, guys. I'm sick, so apologies for uh, this and the way I sound. But uh, just going to have to live with it. Been working hard lately, making a whole ton of videos, as you guys have probably seen on the channel. So, uh, lots of stuff in the community going on for sure. Here is that loon split. Couple go into the wizard tower, takes them out. We are down to the last hope here. The last hope. Will these guys be able to get it done? Getting low. Down to the red. Another shot. Another shot. Another shot! They drop. We're down to the last balloon with a sliver left, and that's okay, Mirarezzi. Getting it done, that's going to be a three-star for the good guys. Nothing left but the cleanup, guys. Very nice hit there from Miro. Loved it, dude. So, where are we going next? Where are we going next? Okay, my next question to you guys is the miners. I know WHF has been using the miners now for a couple of months very, very successfully. Both at the Town Hall 11 level coming down and dipping 10s, as well as getting 10v10 triples with miners, both mass miners and, uh, I don't know if you can call them surgical, but more of a hybrid style army where there's a queen charge of some sort or a bowler kill squad or whatever it happens to be and a very small amount of miners, anywhere from 12 all the way up to 18. Um, both ways have worked for us. We're going to watch Sean to take on this base with 47 miners. The mass miner attack, guys. Four heal spells here, one rage. So the goal, again, guys, is to take the heroes, put them on the corners, and start trimming the buildings on the side and work their way down the map. So the first thing is first, we get a giant in there to trigger the giant bomb. Beautiful. Not bad thinking there, Sean, too. Nice work. And then the miners are going to go do work, son. So here they go. Pretty symmetrical on this base, they arrive all at the same time. Heal spell down for the high DPS as well as the explosion of the bomb tower as well as the splash from the wizard tower. Beyond that, we've got the CC, we've got a wizard there, we've got the queen. Queen is down, and it is now time. Ooh, that wizard doing work, son! Alright, so finally, uh, looks like the inferno tower is just going to be skipped all together. So this is going as badly as it possibly can at this point. Um, the heroes still working their way down the sides of the base. King uses his ability, kind of catching everything up. But the miners, we'll zoom back in and see what's going on there. They're starting to thin out, are they not? Maybe? Uh, he drops the skelly spell over on that left side, that other inferno tower. He's getting spring traps on the miners. They're flying everywhere, guys. I don't know if he's going to make it through. But the queen, she's not having any problem. The king, he's not having any problem. Miners down here, they're dying out. But we've got... We've got so many miners left over, like 47 miners is a lot of miners, guys. You bring them out of the CC, that's 50, what, 54 miners? 54 miners? Dude, that's a lot of miners. So, yes, he's lost a lot, but look at how many are left and how many have pretty much full hit points, or, or in the green at least. Uh, that's incredible. Both heroes have survived. And, uh, wow, look at this storm of miners coming. How quickly can they take out these Tesla? One hit. Archer Tower, they pop up, another hit, bomb, they still have miners in the green, it's insane, they come up to the Inferno, and one hit on that as well. Wow. Game, set, match, Sean 2 taking down Jimmy Smokes from USA Adults with the mass miner attack. Again, base lent itself for it, but again, it's pretty hard to defend uh, against everything, and if you're defending hard against the La Luna attack, att if you're defending hard against the La Luna attacks, the miners themselves can get you. So, what are your guys' thoughts on the miners? Do you think they're worth uh, buffing? Uh, is that the right move? I personally am undecided on both of these changes. I feel like the hog one I'm, I'm good with. Um, I would like to see hogs more into the meta uh, at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. But the miners, I don't know, guys. I feel like 
it could be just Spam City all over again. I mean, this is pre-buff. This is before uh, they're getting an additional level unlocked at Town Hall 10, as well as another level added to Town Hall 11, as well as a hit point buff to levels 2 through 5. Are you kidding me? I mean, I don't know, guys. I feel like we're going to go overboard to the other side with the miners. We'll see what happens, but that's kind of my take on it right now. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. All right, next up is Paul getting taken out again by Sean 2. But Sean 2, he knows how to do more than just Mass Miner, guys. So we're going to take a look at some skill shots here from Sean 2 as he comes in with the Wizard Final at the top here and uh, forces that Queen to go around the outside of the base. Once he gets closer to that air defense and has an idea of where that pathing is going to lie, then the healers come down, they're staying out of range, gonna pop the air D and start working her way around. Now the goal with the king here is to start taking out these trash buildings on the outside because he wants the queen to walk right because of that wizard. You see the wizard's cleared the building, so she is gonna walk right. And after she walks right, he wants her to walk down this corridor. And when she walks down that corridor, he wants to drop a jump spell on that air sweeper to open up the whole core. So because all of these buildings are being taken out by the king, you're going to see his ability come any moment here. And that will clear him the heck out of the way. So the queen is going to uh, turn the corner here, lock on to hopefully the air defense because it's taking out his healers like nobody's business. Couple shots there and it is down and it is now time for the incoming CC to be taken out with the poison spell. So the king rounds the corner at the bottom. Things looking pretty good. And now it's all about the queen getting that CC taken care of. The problem with this attack is uh, the wizard was probably supposed to take out these guys right here. Wizard tower staying up at the end of a raid is kind of troublesome. Um, Another idea would have been for the, the healers to survive and not die and also not be running into this air sweeper seemingly at the very, very edge of the range. So um, as the wizard tower locks on to the healers pretty much at the edge of its range as well, uh, the queen simply can't keep up. She's going to have to pop the ability here, gets a few shots off, uh, but catches an unfortunate bomb, clears out the uh, other troops in there, and that is that. So from the top, we've got the Lalo coming in. It looks like the queen is busy firing at pups, firing at loons, but it's now time uh, for the pups to lock on and take that queen out. There it is. Will they get her, though, is the question. Well, if not, there's a ton of minions. He didn't bring the skelly spells because he has a ton of minions. Uh, looking at the other side, a whole ton of balloons as well. There they go, zooming through the base, backside balloons, direct targeting uh, the air defense there. Hay spell gets them all in. Nice shot on that, and then finally to the final archer tower, but beautiful save here. He brings one balloon to tank the shots from the final arch or from final wizard tower. So beautiful job there from Sean too, and that allows his main group of balloons to get in there. Scott free, take out the wizard tower, and that is that. So Sean too getting it done for the good guys. Three stars all around. WHF wins this one out of town hall of disadvantage, taking out USA adults. Nice war to you guys. A pleasure playing you. Um, better luck next time. So that's gonna do it, guys, for today's video. Uh, let me know in the comments again what you guys think of the new hogs, what you guys think of the new miners. I know they're not out yet, but what do you think is going to happen? How do you think it's going to play out? I feel like hogs are going to be okay. I feel like miners are going to be OP, but I'd love to hear your opinions as well. That's all I got for today's episode, guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you're new here, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.